Hello and welcome to my video where I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin out of mod rock and paper. This is a fun project to do and the resulting pumpkin would make a great prop for Halloween. In order to follow along with this you're going to need these items. If you haven't used mod rock before it's basically a plaster of Paris bandage that's used for modelling and you're going to need at least two or three rolls. Really, it depends how big you make the pumpkin and how many layers you apply. With regards to the paper that you need for the decoupage, I used book pages because I wanted some of the text to show through, but you could use tissue paper, newspaper or any other thin paper. And for the paint, I used orange, yellow, brown and black acrylic paints. You may also want to use some primer if you're doing the decoupage with newspaper and don't want the text to show through. Right, so the first thing you need to do is make the shape of the pumpkin. So take your bin bag and add stuffing until it's as big as you want your pumpkin to be. You need to add enough stuffing so that it will keep its shape. As for what to use for the stuffing, you basically need to use something that will conform to the shape that you want. So fabric scraps, toy stuffing and shredded paper are good choices. I used bubble wrap in the center then toy stuffing around the outside where I needed to do the shaping. Once you've done that, tie a knot in the bag like so. And finally, just wrap a few strands of tape around the bin bag to form the segmented shape of a pumpkin. Then the next step is where we add the mod rock. This is the messy step, so make sure you're protecting your floor or work surface. Take a roll of the mod rock and cut off a strip that's long enough to go from the stalk and down the side of the pumpkin. I would advise that you don't use your favorite scissors for this bit. Dip this strip into your container of water, which in my case is a plaster bowl then just lay the strip onto your pumpkin. Make sure you guide the strips into the valleys of the pumpkin to sculpt the segments. You want to aim to get as smooth a surface as you can. Repeat this all over the top and sides of the pumpkin and then wrap the stalk as well. Note that in order to make this pumpkin sturdy enough, you'll need to add at least two layers of mod rock. Also make sure to overlap the strips rather than placing them side by side. Once dry, turn it over and rest it on a large bowl so you can protect the stalk whilst you cover the underside in the exact same way. Then leave it to dry once again. And now the next step is to add the decoupage. You'll first need to mix PVA glue with some water in a plastic container. And this is just to slightly dilute the glue. Then rip up your paper into small pieces like so. My aim was to have a little bit of text visible through the paint in the final pumpkin Hence, I used book pages for this step. However, if you don't want that effect, feel free to use any other thin paper. You then just use a cheap paintbrush to paint the glue mixture onto the pumpkin, then lay a piece of the paper on top, and then cover the paper piece with more glue. And that's all there is to it. You simply repeat this all over one side of the pumpkin. Then leave it to dry. Repeat the exact same thing on the rest of the pumpkin, except for the stalk since I'm going to be covering this up later on. Once the decoupage is dry, use a craft knife or utility knife to cut a circle into the underside of the pumpkin. 
You'll need to remove the bin bag and stuffing through this hole so make sure it's big enough. Note that you don't want to breathe in this dust so make sure you wear a dust mask when cutting the plaster. I wasn't sure if I wanted to reattach this circle later on so you'll see that I cut a notch into it to help with alignment. Then remove the bin bag and stuffing from the inside. You won't be needing this anymore. In order to neaten up the cut plaster on the base, I also decoupaged around this edge, like so. Next, use a pencil to draw the design you want onto the pumpkin surface. Bear in mind that the mod rock will be fragile in thin sections, so I wouldn't recommend doing a design with fine details. Then carefully use a craft knife to cut out your design. I personally used a sawing motion to do this, trying to be gentle so as not to deform the shape. Next we can move on to painting the pumpkin. First though you need to use a vacuum cleaner to remove any plaster debris or dust on the inside of the pumpkin. Then just paint the inside of the pumpkin with some black acrylic paint. Once that's dry you can then move on to painting the outside of the pumpkin. I would personally recommend that you start with a white primer unless, like me, you want some kind of text or pattern to show through the paint. I however went straight in with the orange acrylic paint. The painting stage actually took me quite a while because A I needed to paint the top and base separately and B I used cheap acrylic paints which needed a few layers to get the effect I wanted and the paint needed to dry between each layer. Therefore it can take a little bit of patience. Once the first orange layer had dried, I then painted brown lines into the valleys between the segments and left them to dry. Next I added a little bit more brown into these valleys and straight away painted the rest of the pumpkin orange again. This time though I tried to blend the orange with the brown as I went into the valleys. I also added a little yellow to the centre of the segments just to make those areas lighter. And then from this point onwards I basically just added more orange paint. This is all about adding a bit of depth so it's not all just one flat orange colour. I'm trying to make a soft gradient going from orange to brown in the valleys. Once you're happy with the paint just leave it to dry once more. Right so lastly we need to make the paper stalk. So begin by dismantling a brown paper bag. Then cut the paper down into a more manageable size like this. Then you need to slightly dilute some PVA glue with water and brush it all over the piece of paper. When you do this make sure your paper is on a wipe clean non-stick surface. From there it's just a matter of sculpting it into shape around the plaster stalk. You can do this as you see fit but I first scrunched up the paper horizontally into a kind of concertina. Then I wrapped this around the plaster stalk, twisted it into a point and then shaped the point into a hook. Once you have manipulated the paper into a shape you like, you can then add just PVA glue to the paper to help the shape stay in place more strongly. You can also rip off any excess paper that you don't want. And that's it, that's how you make a mod rock pumpkin. And here are a few more images of the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.